Imagine a bird with a wingspan of nearly two meters, soaring high above the ground, its red and black plumage glinting in the sunlight. This is the red kite, a bird of prey native to the UK, with a forked tail that uniquely distinguishes it. This bird is a sight to behold. Its eyes, sharp as a hawk, are always on the lookout for a meal. The red kite's habitat is as diverse as its diet, found in everything from open farmland to dense woodland. It plays a vital role in the ecosystem, keeping populations of small mammals and carrion in check. Once upon a time, these magnificent creatures were a common sight in the UK skies, their distinctive silhouettes a familiar part of the country's landscape. And yet the red kite was not always so revered. From being symbols of grace and power, they soon became targets of fear and misunderstanding. But this majestic bird didn't always have clear skies ahead. By the 20th century the red kite had almost disappeared from the UK. This dramatic decline was due to a combination of factors. In a world rapidly changing this majestic creature found itself in a battle for survival against insurmountable odds. The first and perhaps most devastating factor was habitat loss. As the UK's landscape transformed from sprawling woodlands and open fields to industrialized cities and farmland, the red kite's natural habitat was increasingly encroached upon. This bird, once freely soaring above the British Isles, found its nesting grounds disappearing and its food sources dwindling. Then came the hunters. The red kite, with its striking red-brown body and distinctive forked tail, was a coveted trophy for game hunters. Despite its protected status, illegal hunting activities persisted, further decimating the already dwindling population. But the threats didn't end there. The red kite also faced a silent enemy, poisoning. Misconceptions and fear led to instances of deliberate poisoning, while indirect poisoning occurred through the ingestion of prey contaminated with pesticides and rodenticides. These toxins wreaked havoc on the red kite system, leading to severe illness and often death. These factors, working in a deadly synergy, led to a catastrophic decline in red kite numbers. The bird's population plummeted, and it teetered on the brink of extinction. Conservationists watched in alarm as the red kite, once a common sight in the UK skies, became a rarity. By the 1980s, only a handful of red kites remained in Wales, making it one of the rarest birds in the world. This was the unfortunate culmination of a century of habitat destruction, hunting, and poisoning. But although the red kite was down, it was not out. The following years would see efforts to bring this magnificent bird back from the brink, but that's a story for another scene. For now, let's take a moment to reflect on the plight of the red kite, a stark reminder of the impact human activities can have on our natural world. Because remember, every creature, no matter how small or large, plays a vital role in the intricate web of life that makes our planet so diverse and beautiful. In the face of such dire circumstances, concerted conservation efforts began to bring the red kite back from the brink of extinction. The 1980s marked the beginning of a new era for this magnificent bird of prey, characterized by a series of strategic measures aimed at their revival. One of the most impactful initiatives was the reintroduction program. A handful of red kites were brought in from Spain and Sweden, where their numbers were more stable. These birds were released into the wild in England and Scotland. This international collaboration played a crucial role in injecting new life into the dwindling red kite population in the UK. Alongside reintroduction, the establishment of protected areas provided a safe haven for these raptors. These spaces, free from human interference, offered the perfect environment for red kites to breed and thrive. The lush landscapes teemed with life, providing ample food sources, and the dense foliage offered shelter from the elements and predators. Legal protections also played a significant role. The Wildlife and Countryside Act of 1981 made it an offense to kill, injure, or take a red kite. This law was a game-changer, deterring poaching and ensuring that those who harmed these birds faced legal consequences. The combined effect of these measures was nothing short of remarkable. From teetering on the edge of oblivion, the red kites began to flourish once again. Their distinctive silhouette graced the skies more frequently. Each sighting, each flash of russet against the blue, was a testament to the power of concerted conservation efforts. Today, thanks to these efforts, the red kite population in the UK has increased to over 10,000 pairs. Despite this incredible recovery, the red kite still faces challenges. Today, one of the primary threats to the red kite is the rise of wind farms. These structures, while beneficial for producing renewable energy, can pose a significant risk to these birds. 
accidental collisions with the spinning blades can prove fatal, causing a new wave of concern for the survival of this species. Moreover, the looming threat of climate change cannot be ignored. Changes in temperature and weather patterns can disrupt the red kite's natural habitat and food sources, potentially leading to a decrease in their population once again. The importance of continued conservation efforts can't be overstated. It's necessary that we keep a vigilant watch on these new threats and adapt our strategies accordingly. This might mean creating safer designs for wind turbines or implementing more robust measures to combat climate change. The story of the red kite is a testament to our ability to bring a species back from the brink of extinction, but the work is far from over. It is our responsibility to ensure that future generations can marvel at the sight of a red kite soaring high in the sky.